I'd like to introduce you to the Thomas family. Well, Thomas, Thomas, hello there. And Candy. And Candy, hello there. We've kind of been friends for a long time. You don't know it, but I thought we were. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you here. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Hello there. Good to see you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Charles. Nice to see you. Hello there. Well, shouldn't we get a, a group picture here? Why don't we all come around? I think some of you over here on the other side. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, this is a wonderful treat. Well, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> it's here, but I think you first. In here is a jar engraved with the residential seal, and the jar is filled with jelly beans. That's a little heavy baby for her to take. Sure, probably you know what it is. They were from there. That's gross. And uh, just in case she wants to get into the jar before it gets unwrapped, that's what's in this. A little sample that <laughs> someone might want to try. Now let me see. She is now. She was 16 months old then. She's now four years old. And apparently all set. For me to introduce the national leadership of the Reserve yes. Officers Hello Association, there. Captain Hi. Woods, Hi. National Captain. President. Good to see you. Good to see you again, sir. Major Muncy, Army Warrior. Oh, yes, Very happy to meet you, sir. Good to see you. Captain Diverio, the Navy Vice President. Mr. President, how are you? Nice Just to fine. see you, sir. Nice to see you. Colonel Carlson. Air Force Vice President. My honor, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. And Colonel Lively, the Acting Executive Director. How do you do? It's an honor. Nice to see you. Well, we have a group, a group picture here. Sir. I think maybe we need somebody over there. One 
alphabetical for our magazine, please? Uh, Sideways. <laughs> My editor. Thanks. Well, this thank is you. a chance for me to thank all of you for all the help you've been in the various tussles with the legislature on defense matters and so forth. That's what we're here for. Our organization stands for that. That's great. Worthy cause, and we thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership. Well, we, if you, we still got some more battles to go. Indeed. Sure. Yes. I happen to have, you know, as he knows, I have two connections here. World War II. So there was a right. reserve officer in the cavalry who wound up sitting at a desk for the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> he reminded me today, sir, that you're in the Army Air Corps. The sure Army Air Corps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just, just never should have let him out from under the signal. Oh, anyway. <laughs> There's some, some souvenirs that are here. You must have some keys or something so that you can use a key chain. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, it's a great pleasure. Good to see you. May I ask one question, sir? Are you going to accept the Canadian <laughs> Bodybuilders Award? <laughs> no, I don't. The Canadian Bodybuilders Award. That <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to. That's all about it. I was really trapped. I was going to turn the poor lady and walk away. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you, Mr. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Well, oh, you got it floated. Good luck, sir. All right. A businessman to see me as governor, and I'm wondering what he was doing here. And he was visiting at Yuba City, California. He was the owner of the minor league baseball team there. It was one of the farm teams for the Japanese League. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I'll be darned. President, Mr. Mizukami, the yes, managing hello. director. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice, you. nice to see 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 you. Why don't we get a group picture oh, first oh, here? Oh, oh, Then I understand where to go over here and you want to possible. I wish to express a deep thanks for your consideration and to express a thanks to you. have a brought a trophy, especially made for you, and a baseball autographed by Mr. Sadha Ro, who is the greatest of Hita ah. in Japanese professional baseball. Well, yes, and the uh, Mr. Sadaharo belongs to a baseball team called Tokyo Giants. And uh, our newspaper happened to own that baseball team. Well, so uh, the trophy is a gift from the publisher of our newspaper. And at the same time, owner of the Yomiri Giants, Mr. Shoriki. Well, Please extend my heartfelt thanks for that. I'm oh, yes. very pleased yes. to have it. And uh, uh, also the standard of the baseball in Japan, far behind the major league of United States, but still has the, the Mr. O is a very, very popular among the Japanese nation. And uh, uh, he is awarded a special prize as a most glorious citizen. Well, yes. And uh, that is why I have we have brought this trophy and the baseball. And I think as a little the best wishes for uh, national hero of Japan to the great national hero of the United <laughs> States. Well, I'm very honored and pleased to have it. I don't know yes. whether you're aware that earlier in my life, I was a radio sports announcer broadcasting yes. Major League Baseball in this country. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'll be very glad as if you kind of accept that. I, yes. I accept it with great pleasure. So now, I think I'll say you must be very busy. So may I right. start the question? Yes. yes. Uh, first question is about U.S.-Japan relations. And I think the U.S.-Japan relations are becoming even more important today in the context of the respective roles 
in the maintenance of peace and prosperity of the free world. At the outset of this precious interview, would you give us your thought about the state of unison of the two countries as it stands today and also its future? Well, I believe that the relationship between our two countries is strong, vital, and healthy. And I think the warmth of the friendship is epitomized in the, the affection and respect that uh, Prime Minister Nakasone and I have for each other. I consider him a very close personal yes. friend. But the other thing about our two countries, too, is that we are both nations on the Pacific Rim. Yes. And I happen to believe that the world's future, further development, lies in the Pacific Basin. Mm -hmm. And we are and do happen to be the two greatest economic powers on the Rim, <coughs> Pacific Basin. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think we share a great responsibility in, in the future of the whole Pacific Basin there. So uh, I, I think all of our people are very pleased about the relationship that we have. And I, I'm sure it will continue. I uh, move to the second question. All right. Yes, as you know, as our Prime Minister Nakasone is visiting here in Washington this weekend. Yes. And he'll have very important talks with you. And the Tokyo summit meeting is scaled down in his answers. So what issues will we focus on in the bilateral <coughs> Tokyo summit meeting? I think some of the things will be uh, a discussion of the relationship of our nations here in the free world uh, uh, with the Soviet Union and what progress we can all make together with regard to reducing particularly the nuclear weapons that now hang over the world as a threat. That will be certainly one very important uh, subject for discussion. I think also uh, the economic situation of the summit nations uh, will be very important. The, uh, some of them were slower in coming out of the recession that the world was in a few years ago, but now all seem to be progressing better. I think we will be discussing the trade matters uh, between all our nations, and I know definitely uh, the Prime Minister and I will be discussing our own uh, bilateral uh, trade situation. We've made great progress, and uh, it's essential, too, that the leading trading nations of the world, such as those that make up the Summit Economic Conference, that all of us continue our, our recovery and our expansion, our economic recovery, and all, making economic progress to provide more employment and uh, we really are all sort of bound together in that. It's going to be very difficult for uh, any one nation to be um, prosperous if our all aren't doing well. So I think there's, I think we'll have a full plate. And do you have any intention to, to, get, uh, to take up the uh, concerted action against the terrorism? Oh, yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, terrorism must definitely uh, be uh, discussed by all of us because only by working together can we wipe out this very cowardly but very cruel and damaging practice. So I'm sure that we'll be talking about that. We have an example last year of what can be done uh, with cooperation between us. So far, we've been improving our relationship in exchanging intelligence information about terrorist threats. And last year, it's little known, but last year, we were able to abort and cut off, prevent from happening 126 terrorist operations. So, um, I, yes, that will very definitely be a subject for discussion. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Pleasure to see you.
Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Good to see you. We're looking forward to our visit. Thank you very much. This is my son, Will. Hello there. Nice to see you. And my Hello. Hello there. That's my son, Jake. Hi. And he, he won't see anything while he's in here except them. <laughs> so I've seen this happen it's before. It's the flashes, huh? Well, listen, thank you for all the good work that you've done. We wish, wish you well now in your, in your new post over there in Cairo. Mr. President, I, I want to say as a, as a Foreign Service officer, I'm particularly grateful. There are hundreds of my colleagues, patriotic and delicate, dedicated out there, embassies in the far corners of the earth, who have no higher ambition than to serve the nation by serving the president. You've given the Foreign Service an opportunity to do that for the past year. There are other Foreign Service officers working for you. We're deeply grateful as individuals and as a service. Well, thank you, and I appreciate all the while we're doing in the service. Thank you. Would you like to have us a square round for a, over here for a picture? Okay. Flank us. Okay. Oh, that's Dennis. There you do. There he is. Who's that man over there, James? Well, now just a few little souvenirs. We must have some time for reading and need a book right now and then. This must hold a few papers on the desk. And um, you can probably hold this because inside is a jar with that seal on it and it's filled with jelly beans. And just in case they should maybe want what's in that jar before you get home, there, what do you thank say, you. There are samples. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank